Chapter 23 has to do with the civil magistrate. The paragraph 1 uh, reminds us from passages like Romans 13 and 1 Peter 2 that God is the one who has ordained all civil authority and that we are obligated to submit to those civil authorities as ministers of God intended to do us good. Paragraph 2 uh, explains that Christians may serve as civil magistrates and even uh, under the New Testament may wage war if it is in accord with just and necessary conditions. That's an allusion to just war theory that was originally devised by St. Augustine who was asking the question, if Jesus commands us to love our neighbor as ourselves, how is it possible to reconcile that command with the duty of the civil magistrate to pick up the power of the sword? And he said that there are those occasions uh, when uh, it is necessary for civil authorities to wage war for the protection of the innocent. Uh, out of love for one group, the, the group that is weakest and being unjustly treated, it is necessary at times to wage war against the aggressor. Paragraph 3 uh, reminds that the civil magistrate has no direct authority over the uh, ministry to which the church is called, the preaching of the word and sacraments. However, the civil magistrate does have a duty, regardless of his religion, to protect all churches uh, if they are being unjustly threatened. And paragraph 4 reminds us from 1 Timothy 2 that we must uh, raise our holy hands and make intercessions and prayers of all kinds for our civil authorities. Even those with whom we disagree, even those who may have a different religion or no faith at all, we must pray for them because they've been providentially given their authority over us and we must submit to them as long as they don't call us to compromise our faith.